Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to get you a little more familiar with the back end of Joomla. Um, we'll go through the navigation of the administration panel and things like that. So, if you go to your website slash administrator, you'll see something like this. And once you log in, if you have a default installation, you'll see this exactly because this is a default installation. Um, you have some options over here. You have uh, who's logged in and some stats here, uh, popular articles, recent articles, menu stats, things like that. Um, I want to focus more here on the control panel. Um, if you want to get started with, a, with just adding a new article right now, just click new article. Um, here you'll be able to see all articles and you can you can customize or not customize them but uh, you can narrow them down by going to section so if you wanted about Joomla and the CMS these are only the articles under those two section and category um, so let's go back to control panel here um, front page manager is going to give you the articles that are on the front page currently um, section manager you'll be able to edit sections Category Manager, same thing with Categories. Um, Media Manager, that's where you will be able to edit and remove, add, rename, whatever you want for um, these pictures and such. So let's go back and we'll see that we have a Menu Manager. So these will be all your menus. This is very confusing here. I just want to give you a tip that if you click on this, you're going to be editing the name of the menu and if you click on this little item here this will give you the items within the menu you can also drop down this menu up here and actually click on the on the menu and it'll give you also the menu items within it so language manager I've actually never used a language manager but um, what you do is you install language packs and you can change the language of your website um, with a click of a button User Manager is self-explanatory and Global Configuration. The first thing you want to do when you put your site up and if you're going to go live with it is you want to change all these settings. Um, not all of them but um, if you're ever going to take your site down you might want to write something that has the effect of being offline. Um, you know and you can just look through the site name. Um, this is what's going to come up if somebody does a Google search on you. So you want to make sure that this is descriptive to your website and your your keywords are also going to be something that somebody would search for to get to your website. And you can turn these off if you if you don't want people searching for your website. These are a little more advanced settings over here and we'll go over that at a different time. But there's also um, some tabs up here and you can kind of look through these but most of these are going to be advanced settings. If you're not an advanced user, don't don't click on any of these and don't move any of these. Um, but again, the database that you set it up with here, um, your mail settings, and you know just different things over here. So that was global global configuration. Um, also, you have menus at the top as you've been watching me um, drop these down. I use these more than I use this control panel and in the future you will probably be using these as well so components um, extensions you'll see your module manager is what you'll probably use most here and your components um, you can install and uninstall right here just hit browse and find the module that you want and install it just click upload file and install it could be a zip it could be a tar.gz there's a lot of uh, different options that will that will let you upload and install a file. Um, you can view the ones you have installed. So modules, plugins, language, templates. So these are the templates I have installed on this current version of Joomla. Which these are the default. So um, so here's your template manager here. And here, if you wanted to change the whole look of your site, you click on that and hit default. And now if we preview our site, it looks totally different. And if I go back, I could change that right back by clicking that and hitting default. And the same content is there. 
yet the look of the website is different. That's what makes Joomla so powerful right there. Um, you can add templates and sometimes it's not perfect just because if you move you know like the menu over to the other side and this this template looks totally different it's not gonna it's not gonna look right so it's not perfect but it's gonna help you out in the long run if you want to if you want to change the look of your site real quick so you can also edit you know if you wanted to edit this you can edit it um, I don't at this time so I'm just gonna show you around um, tools I really don't use a read and write messages tools, but you would if you had a lot of users. Um, I usually have, uh, you know, five or less user base on my website, so I've never used read mail, write mail. So global check-in is something I use frequently. Um, a lot of my users will close out uh, of an article, so I'll show you what what will happen here. So if I'm in an article here. And I just I just navigate away or close this window. It will actually lock up. I'm not sure how to navigate away now, but um, it will lock up that component or that article. And to release it, you have to come over to Global Check In and check everything in. So right now it's going to check in a couple things for me, and that that actually checked them in. So you want to make sure everybody's out of their articles. And make sure nobody's in editing something and then uh, that would work you can clean your cache out and purge expired cache so help you got some help here from Joomla which is great and it's very helpful if you go through that that's a quick overview of the control panel and the back end of Joomla you also have a preview button I don't know if you saw me use that earlier but you can preview your, your website at any time and you have how many users are on right now and if you have any messages you can click here for your private messaging <clears throat> and you have a logout button you might, might want to log out after each session just in case somebody jumps on your computer again and would be logged into your website and you really don't want that because they can do a lot of damage if they get on the back end so that's all for this tutorial and the next tutorial I'm probably going to be showing you more about article manager and how to edit articles that's all for now. Thanks for watching.